Hi guys, so I'm in the hospital. Um, I decided to go come here today because my family was worried, my husband was worried, I was worried um, from the video that I made this morning. So we thought it would be best to come in and just get checked and make sure I'm okay because last night and today I've been having really bad chest pains along with the other stuff. So. Um, yeah, so I came here to the hospital. Um, Danny was here and so was my sister, but they left. Um, right now I'm waiting to go in. Danny had to work, but he's going to come back as soon as he can. Um, but he was there for the hard part with me and so was Angela. So thank you, Angela, so much. Very selfless of you to come and stay with me and stuff. You're the best. So they did an EKG on my heart, and my heart looks okay, which is great. So they don't think it's my heart, they do think something's wrong with my stomach, though. So they're going to do a CT scan, which is where the one where you go, you lay down and go through a table that goes through like a big ring type thing, and they put like dye in, inside of you so that they can look at it and monitor it and see if the dye like a contrast dye, see if it like leaks anywhere. That's how they can tell if your bowel is leaking or anything like that. So they're going to do that, but um, about almost a decade ago, I think, I had one of those done and I had never had one before. And they put the dye, the contrast dye inside of me and we did the CT scan and as I was getting my wheelchair to come back to my room, my throat started closing up, I couldn't breathe, I was itching, I was panicking, I was shaking, like I had a total super bad reaction. Um, so they have to do the dye or they can't tell if my bowel is leaking. So they did look up my history and saw that back in 2012 I did one of these, I did a CT scan and um, that they had given me Benadryl and steroids beforehand and I didn't have a reaction then so that's what they're doing right now they just gave me lots of steroids and Benadryl and um, liquids and fluids and nausea med and pain med and everything I'm a little loopy from the morphine um, anyway so now we have to wait for all that stuff to kick in like the stuff that will prevent me from having a reaction so that's what's happening now it'll probably be another 10 minutes so I'm just um, trying to keep my mind busy because um, it's just scary it's like I feel like I'm physically breaking and I feel like I'm mentally breaking and I'm just sick of being sick. Like I just got, to, like when we first came in and I kind of explained my history a little bit to the doctors and the nurses. Um, sometimes when you vocalize it out loud all at once, um, it becomes really overwhelming in your mind. So like. I vocalized that I have been sick since I was a little girl. I've my entire life I've had all problems that were not eating disorder related and eating disorder. But when I was a babe, like I've always had health problems my whole life. And sometimes like saying those words and listing all the things I've been through and all the things I'm still going through, sometimes saying it out loud like that is really like a mind sleep, you know? Um, so, I don't know. Um, I might call Danny. I decided to vlog first because he's so, so busy and he's killing himself that he can't be here, but I don't want him to worry unless there's something really wrong. So I'm going to try and be brave and get through the scan. <coughs> oh! Mm. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I mean, I feel 
awful and what made me decide to go actually was my sister Angela because she was telling me that she was like having a septic leak or something like that and it had moved it had started moving to your heart and if you have septic leaking inside of you within 24 hours it could go up to your heart and kill you so that when she she came over to my house and just didn't just came right in and walked in my room and and uh she didn't freak me out or, or anything but she very calmly was like hey this happened to me and i don't know if you know this but you can die <laughs> very quickly if it's a septic leak so um that's what made me came in. So thank you, Angela, for um, bringing me in. And thank you to my family for worrying. I'm sorry I worried you as much as I did. Um, I'm just, I'm really sorry to my family and Danny. Because um, it kind of took Danny off guard. He knew, he knew I'd been really sick, but he didn't know about my chest pains today. So, um, so then he was freaking out. And what happened? Like, what's going, what? What happened? Did, like everyone's freaking out, so I'm really sorry. This was a communication blunder on my part as far as my family and Danny goes, but um, thanks for loving me and caring and being patient. And um, I just feel like I want to cry, but I feel too dehydrated. <laughs> but I love you guys and thanks for your help I, and for your support and your prayers. I've been reading the comments. And I'm really, really grateful for all of your prayers. Um, thank you, Rachel, for your long prayer. I really liked that. I really enjoyed that. So thank you. Um, yeah. And then also, there's a little troll in my comment section of my last video. Um, and I just want to say, if that troll is watching, that you are beautiful. And you are worth it. And I am beautiful. And I am worth it. And all of us are, um, we just have to like access that goodness that's inside of all of us and act on that instead of acting on whatever it is that makes you feel like you have to attack other people and tell people to kill themselves and hang themselves and that you hope they get raped. Um, that's not a nice thing to say. So I hope that your life can get nicer to you so that you can have that effect on other people and be kinder to other people. Um, so know that I don't hate you. Um, I just feel bad for you and I hope you're okay. So, and thanks for everybody who stuck up for me. That was a, that was a pretty nasty, probably the worst, one of the worst trolls I've gotten in a long time. So, um, but you have good inside of you. Just let it out. You don't need to be doing this anymore. You can get attention for good things, too. So, anyway, um, alright, I'm gonna go. They're gonna be here in a minute, so I will keep you updated.